here at the Cape Coral Police Department to give you an exclusive look at new technology here at the forensics unit and what it means for us here in Southwest Florida. Oh, this is this is huge. It's amazing. I cried when my grant writer called me and told me that we received it. I couldn't believe out of the whole United States and everyone that applies for this, that our small city of Cape Coral was awarded this type of equipment. More than $200,000 of new equipment and updates made to this forensics unit, all a grant from the Department of Justice. We are the only local law enforcement agency in Southwest Florida to have this type of equipment. So it was time to get behind the scenes and see what this equipment does. You see this material here and you may not think much of it. As to the naked eye, you see just a pattern, but that's a gunshot. So this is GSR gunshot residue. That's the um, the lead, the bromium, everything that comes out of the muzzle of the gun and burns into the material. There's a gunshot. And then all the stippling, which are those little dots around it, that's your gunshot residue. That helps with um, the distance of how far they were shot. And then let's zoom back out so we can search. And there's blood. I know it's blood because it's absorbing no my infrared. Way. These tools will help the forensics unit as well as detectives throughout investigations and can bring justice and closure to families faster. They're easily able to switch between the wavelengths and then they have goggles that they use depending on which wavelength of light they're using. So if they're using a blue light to look for bodily fluids, they would turn the blue light on, they would put their filters on or their goggles on and then they put the correct filter in place. These are used for a wide range of investigations from sex assaults, overdoses, um, narcotic search warrants, shootings, anything involving blood or blood spatter. It also can work for fraudulent documents. Um, if we need to detect uh, cleanup in a scene where someone has fixed damage on walls or repainted surfaces to hide evidence, this will assist us in all of that. We have a much stronger case in court because physical evidence doesn't lie. And if other agencies around us wanted to use it, they would need to call us and we would have to come out and help them with their investigation. The forensics unit is fully trained on this new technology and ready to start using it this week. Here at the Cape Coral Police Department, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.